it's actually happened and ahead of when I predicted. Yesterday, a lender called Generation Home announced a five-year fixed rate mortgage at below 4%. The rate they're offering is 3.94% fixed for five years. And here's the good part. There's not a two or three percent fee. The fee is £999. This is one of half a dozen rates that they have introduced, which are as follows. Uh, a two year fixed at 5.04% with no fee. A two year fixed at 4.87% with a 999 fee. A three year fixed of 5.02% with zero fee. A three year fixed at 4.92% with a fee of 999. A five year fixed at 4% with zero fee and a five-year fixed at 3.94% with a fee of £999. In my previous video, even though I've been predicting for the last couple of months that I expect to see the first sub-4% uh, mortgage rate by the end of the year, and that's a genuine one, not like the State Bank of India a couple of months ago, which was less than 4% for two years, but with a 5% fee, which is outrageous but something with a reasonable fee that was a genuine sub four percent and then in my last video i says well if we don't make it by the end of uh end of the year i do expect it definitely before the end of january and lo and behold this is the first one i expect after the new year to see many other lenders following suit because their volume of lending has taken a tumble because things are much worse than everybody is being led to believe which i've been saying for months so this is very very positive and for those of you on a variable rate for example this should also be positive news because for these lenders to be able to offer this that means that the swap rates the people holding uh, holding the bonds and making the agreements to lend over two or three or five years are confident that they will make a profit if they fix a deal at this rate meaning that they anticipate the average rate over the next five years to be below uh, 3.94% which is encouraging. How it stands at the moment is, despite the narrative and the lies from the industry, things have literally uh, tumbled. Uh, the brakes have been firmly pulled, not just on the property market, but on the economy as a whole, which also contributed to inflation falling further than expected. I had my doubts whether they would break below 5% by the end of the year, and here we go, they're below 4%. Whilst that's positive in terms of interest rates, that just shows the alarming effect that all of these interest rate rises have had on the greater economy and they're still filtering through. So uh, whilst I wouldn't uh, put anything as being cast in stone, my feeling is that the way things are going is by the spring, summer at the latest, we will see interest rates coming down they may come down further and sooner than people expect because the economy will be in dire need of resuscitating after the damage they have done with so many interest rate rises on the trot to actually address an inflation that wasn't an inherent uh, inherently caused within our economy it was uh, outside factors energy fuel etc etc that led to a lot of this so um it can't has to be addressed of course because inflation is can be devastating to an economy um, so fair play that they have addressed it it would have been much better though had they addressed it sooner more sharply and we would have been out of it already but there you go so those of you at the moment who are facing uh, an interest rate that's double or triple what your fixed rate was when it ended, then there is light at the end of the tunnel now. As I said, this is a small lender, Generation Home. Um, don't know too much about them, but 
what they're offering is pretty good and more importantly this will definitely twist the arm of some of the other lenders to hurry up and start offering better deals for everyone so that's very very good news for many of you this is probably one of the best christmas presents you could have had because i know for a fact that there are hundreds of thousands if not millions of people out there whose mortgage uh, deals have ended or are ending and who are wondering exactly how they're going to pay for it and the behavior of some of these lenders is literally beyond contempt because i know of lenders and I won't name them at this point, who hold their borrowers to ransom with a variable rate of eight or nine percent or more to try and get them to fix at six or seven percent, knowing full well that they are going to hold them to ransom because they will have to pay a hefty early settlement figure if they decide to move away when the interest rates drop. To me, that is not professional and that shouldn't be allowed. And I don't believe that innocent homeowners should be subjected to this sort of uh, extortion. But there you go. Anyway, I'll leave you with that. As always, um, if you have any questions with anything to do with property, please feel free to get in touch. Phone, email, message whatever works for you. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful weekend preparing for Christmas and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.